another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today I've got one that is made in Vietnam. This is Milliket, uh Phnom Penh style rice noodle. So, yeah, 300 mils of water, the noodle block. This one's another interesting one. See, it's got the noodle block and the one you add with it in the same pack. Interesting and fun, I suppose. You could call it a fun thing. Except for these packages are kind of... They tend to be messy. I'm going to... I'm not going to steer you the wrong way on that. They're, they're kind of a mess. Actually, that... I guess I am steering you the wrong way because that went rather well. Uh, it's morning. It is 9 a.m. There we go. <clears throat> no worry. All is well. So, yeah, it's Saturday, and today is a good day thus far. It seems like it's going to continue to be a good day, because in the way the days are, they don't really have a chance yet to become a horrible day, unless you've got something bad going on. But hopefully you don't. Hopefully you have a good day as well. Yeah. Supposed to get up in the 80s today. And it's September 16th. That's impressive. I think that's fun. Some might not. I do. So yeah, you're supposed to steep this for three to four minutes. And it's like, not a lot of liquid. And it doesn't want to cover it. I guess you could cook this in a cylinder or steep it in a cylinder. But this is going to require a plenitude of stirring just to make sure everything gets hydrated. So that's what I'm doing. I am engaging in my plentiful stirring. I'll let you enjoy the uh, <coughs> viewing of this. It's actually starting to come together. So yeah, just the noodle and the uh, vegetable sachet, the flake, if you will. So it's been about two minutes. Okay. 300 mils of water has been pretty well sucked up at this point. Yeah, today the plan is to go on a longer walk than we've been doing this week, and so that should be cool. We play a game called Pikmin Bloom, and today is community day for that, much like Pokemon Go if you're knowledgeable of such things, and uh, it's not that community day. But. So you have a weekend, and on one of the days, you have to do 10,000 steps. This isn't like usually a big deal for me to pull off, but my wife's been like working her butt off and I think she'll pull it off either today or tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping today. Hopefully. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, she's had chronic pain for quite a while and trying to combine like just walking with getting feeling better so hopefully the outcome will be a short-lived soreness and then she'll feel a little better that's what i'm hoping for but it will probably make the kids all feel tortured and all that good stuff so. we'll see how it goes Yeah, this definitely requires a, uh, an amount of stirring. 
I think it's kind of looking pretty good at this point. So I'm hoping, I'm hopeful. And in about... And there we are. So the next step will be the, uh, the seasoning. So here is the dry base sachet. It already smells like it's seasoned, which is kind of weird. I did not expect that. Maybe this is more of an herb sachet than a uh, the one that came with it in the with the noodle. Maybe it's less of a vegetable and more of a herb. We'll, we'll see in the end. I don't know at this point what makes it phenom. Uh, Nam Pen style. I don't even know how to uh, pronounce it correctly, I'm guessing. But I will add that to the post. I'll find some information on Wikipedia. So, yeah. Just trying to crank this review out before anything. little thing to note if you've got one and it's got stuff in it that doesn't want to let go if you kind of like I was doing make a roundabout like a cycling motion with your fingers and try to get this stuff out if you submerge it slightly in broth it'll kind of pull some of the liquid in and also it'll like cycle through it circulate it so that can be helpful on its own which is which is good all right, so let's see how the noodle did. I stirred the heck out of this, and I think it probably did all right. But let's find out. Cheers. Hmm. Noodle's good. Has some backbone to it. Isn't too soft. Personally, I like it soft, but this this works in this iteration. Here's the broth. Very salty. But it has definitely, like I was mentioning, the whole herb thing. It's meaty. It's herby, herbaceous, if you will. It's not bad. I can live with that. A little more upbeat, jeez. That's a little better. Hey, welcome to the show, everybody. It's a fun, 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 fun day here. That's better. Okay. Um, I've got some shashu that I diced up, kind of pulled apart with mine own hands. That's what that is. Very greasy. I thought some pork might behoove this. I've got a bit of the coriander. Some spriggulants right about there. Um, I don't want it too spriggy. Mung bean sprout. Okay. Got some crushed red pepper. And I don't know if this is like a right thing to do. First, I'm going to do some, uh, some seeds. And I'm going to use some sriracha, mainly because 
I don't know. I'm the United States. That seems like the right thing to do. A little blurb of it right like that. And some fried crispy onion. Because who doesn't enjoy a little bit of crispy onion in your face hole? I, I certainly do. I think I'm going to put some on top of the chashu. And, uh, yeah, I'm calling it a day with that one. It, it's, it's pretty good stuff, I gotta say. It's, it's, it's nice. It's nice. Hopefully I don't knock it off the little rotato. Our friend. Our friend, the rotating platform that we lovingly call rotato. Let's allow it to work its voodoo magic and enjoy. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Hans and Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment your noodles each and every day. Like, subscribe, really helps me out, really helps everybody out because then they get to enjoy the wonder of international instant noodles. This has been Hans and Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment your noodles each and every day. Have a good one and bye.